name's Liz Glaston, an educator at the Chesapeake Bay Foundation, and this is my partner Ziggy. Have you ever been sitting outside on a spring evening and heard a choir of what sounded like a bunch of baby chicks peeping in the night? Well, those weren't chicks, were they, Ziggy? They were actually spring peepers, a tiny frog that's only about the size of a postage stamp. These small brown frogs have dark X's on their back and at the end of their fingers, large sticky toe pads. These toe pads help them climb trees, but you won't find a spring peeper in a tree, will you, Ziggy? Where do you guys think spring peepers live? So where are some places you thought about that spring peepers might be found at? Maybe you thought about woods, a river, maybe a small creek like this one here, or perhaps a lake or pond. Well, the number one place that spring peepers are found are places called vernal pools. Vernal pools are ephemeral, which means they're temporary. In the springtime, they become filled with water from spring rains and snow melt. By the summertime, they're all dried up, but that's okay because come next spring, they'll be filled up with rain and snow melt again. In the meantime, spring peepers aren't the only critters that you can find in vernal pools. Other cool critters include salamanders, box turtles, and tiny crustaceans called fairy shrimp. Spring peepers are nocturnal animals, which means at night they're most active, and during the day they're really hard to find. During the day, you'll find spring peepers hiding under leaf litter on the forest floor, or perhaps behind the loose bark of a tree. At nighttime, that's when the males join together to sing their song to attract the females. What is the life cycle of a spring peeper? Do you know what the spring peeper's life cycle or the life cycle of other frogs could be? So what is the life cycle of a spring peeper? Spring peepers, like most frogs, go through something called metamorphosis. Other critters that go through metamorphosis include butterflies and dragonflies. At nighttime, those calls that you hear are the male spring peepers singing out to attract a mate. A male whose song is the fastest and the loudest attracts the females. Once a female finds a mate, she lays her eggs. She can lay up to a thousand eggs. And after the male fertilizes it, it takes anywhere between two days and two weeks for those fertilized eggs to hatch into tadpoles. Tadpoles have long tails and gills to help them live underwater. Their tails are so long, in fact, that these tadpoles can sometimes be bigger than the adult spring peepers themselves. After about eight weeks, the spring peepers start to lose their tail, grow legs, lose their gills, and start to develop lungs so that they can survive on land. By the end of the summer, the spring peepers have reached their adult size and form which is good because the vernal pools are ephemeral and have started to dry up by then. By February, the spring peepers are ready to start the cycle all over again. Let's think about the different stages of the spring peeper and what they might eat. What do you think a tadpole would eat? What do you think an adult would eat? And who do you think eats the spring peepers? So what do spring peepers eat and who eats them? Let's start off with the tadpoles and what they eat. Even though tadpoles have really long tails, they have really tiny mouths and can only eat algae and microorganisms that are in the water with them. Once they turn into adult spring peepers, their diet changes too. Now they can eat small beetles, ants, flies, and even spiders. But who eats the spring peepers? When they're tadpoles, think about the other critters that share the vernal pool with our tadpoles. Things that predate on our tiny tadpoles include underwater insects, beetles, frogs, and even salamanders. Once they metamorphose into frogs, spring peepers are really well camouflaged, but they still become a snack for things like snakes, salamanders, large predaceous insects, skunks, owls, and other birds of prey. What would happen to the food web of the vernal pool if our spring peepers were suddenly to disappear? 